which was originally called the Lord's House. So it became timeless. So Lissa's kindly <laughs> agreed under a little bit of pressure to uh, uh, recite the first poem. So here we go. This is a timeless. You wrote long, sweet tempered silhouettes of people in taverns, ladies of the night, so mystical. The sun goes down on a dark, majestic cliff, still, breath, fixated on life now and yesterday. Light stood still, dark shuffled up as the cold breeze of dust climbed into the night. A wash of slow creeping, salted foam pulled itself up from each wave, captured tears of proud fishermen that wept alone at night. Out of sight, families that dreamt them home, how we love them more when all alone. A writer's shed, window on a world of timeless shadows that never leaves this place, nor ever will. Patchwork quilts handed down that latch onto memories, one by one. Lives seep and intertwine and lose no sleep to soap and elbow grease. This is life and these were lives. The quilt catches and records new lives, old deaths. All's the same in this timeless zone. Wooden floors, an empty chair, passes by and imaginaires climb the crags with toil and muster. A candle burns in just one window, flickering like an angel as the writer catches the night. Distilling the lives of the township, nowhere in particular, but slowly faming into the horizon before morning arrives, just like yesterday, but slightly different in a way that only this writer understands and needs to know and say.